Hello, in this video we will show you how to assemble our telescope for the Stars Shine for Everyone project or the Sterren's Kitten for Everyone project. But first I will start to introduce uh, our members of the team. You have Eric in the back, Philip here in front, Hugo and myself, Guy. So you received a lot of parts which you need to assemble to get a working telescope. We will start with one of the legs of the tripod. You will need to fix this white bracket on the wooden leg with the two screws here on the back. Just make sure that the little part here on the, uh, the white part is in the direction of this opening of the wooden leg. This is to hold the uh, tripod plate uh, afterwards. When you've, once you've finished these three wooden legs with the bracket, you will start to assemble the wooden legs on the central part of the mount. As Philip will show you now, enter the leg over the wooden block, put the bolt through it, first you put the washer and then the nut. You will need some uh, tools to tighten the uh, screws and the bolt, a flat screwdriver and a 13 millimeter um, hex key. You need to tighten them just that the leg can still move without too much friction. This is just for instructions, we didn't finish it. Once you have the three legs finished on the wooden block, you will insert the metal plate, the triangle plate. You will notice that there is a little stand-up here in the, of the side. This points upward. So Hugo is now going to install the wooden plate. Yes. You will notice that there is a small dent in the wooden, in the white bracket here, which holds the bracket, the, the plate. So now you have a firm tripod. On this tripod you will install the red angled plate which will hold in the telescope. This goes on top and then you need to pay attention to the central screw. You first insert the screw from the top with a washer. Then from the bottom first comes a washer, a spring, Again, a washer and a nut. Again, you will need some tools, a flat screwdriver and a 11 millimeter hex key to tighten it. Well, I think it's a 10 millimeter screw. 10. This, 10. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I take it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's ready. You put it. You put the pressure on the um, on the nut and the and the bottom, but you don't need to compress the spring all the way. Just that there is a uh, tension on the spring, but just enough that it can rotate freely. Right, like that. So there's no play, but it rotates easy. Next step is to install the telescope. So you get this white telescope with or without signatures. Goes about this position. You put the screw over it and you just tighten it. You will see that if it's not in the center, it will drop down. Just loosen the screw and put it in the right position by moving it forwards or aft. So this is now about the right position. Next step to assemble, you take the finder scope, a little telescope, front lens, back end. You have two uh, bolts here, just put it on top. And then you have two special nuts, one on the front and one on the back.
So the telescope is now ready for use. One part missing at the back. You will need to insert the 90 degree angle brackets with the eyepiece. Just loosen the screws and then tighten them when it's in place. As you can see, you can always put more tension on the declination and the altitude bracket by tightening this one. So it's now a working telescope. To use a telescope, first of all, remove the dust cap. And one thing you need to do before using the telescope is aligning this finder scope with the main telescope. So how do you do it? You point the telescope, you try to find an object local terrestrial object far away and you put that in the center of your eyepiece. This can be a lamppost, a tree, a church, top or a building, just something that you can recognize in the telescope. Next step is to look at through the finder. You have these six screws and you have a rectangle and you put these six screws you can align the finder scope to match the field or the object that you have centered in your main telescope. This way if you try to find a new object you first look to the finder scope and then the object will be in your telescope as well. If the image is not sharp, you can always, this is the focusing, if you move the tube out, it is for objects closer to you. If you move the tube in, you will focus on objects which are further away from you. This is the uh, focusing. If the image in your finder scope is not sharp, you can always focus the finder scope as well. You rotate the black ring, loosen it, and then you can turn the lens forward, aft, aft. When it's, uh, the image is sharp, you just tighten the black ring again by and holding the front lens. This way you focus the finder scope. If this is all done, you can use a telescope. Have fun with your telescope.